Well, it's been just amazing, um, the whole journey of the fashion project and um, you know, making connections. Initially, I was you know, writing emails to different companies, different designers, trying to make connections and um, hopefully get a summer internship. And then after um, becoming part of like a, a finalist in the YMA and eventually the Jeffrey Bean competition, you know, people, designers, industry leaders were coming up to me, giving me their business cards and uh, you know, trying to get me to be part of their internship programs this summer. So that was just, you know, I wasn't prepared for that, but that was amazing. It really solidified for me the fact that this is really what I want to do. I've always been a passionate person, and you know, whether it was sports or jewelry or you know, friends, my commitment to people around me, um, I've always been passionate about whatever I do. And so you know, being able to apply my business classes that I've taken at CU and really um, implement them into this business proposal, it was just phenomenal for me. Throughout my childhood, I had insomnia, and so I used to just stay up at night and like, you know, make arts and crafts or jewelry. And as a senior in high school, um, I was in an entrepreneurship course where I was supposed to build a business proposal for my own company, and I decided to do a jewelry design company. So it was called Nico, and um, it was a custom design jewelry label, and I built like a 60-page business proposal, brought it to a bank, got a loan, and um, you know, started building a loyal clientele. And so, you know, that actually helped me through the YMA scholarship as well, because I submitted a portfolio of pieces that I had uh, created. I found out initially through Mary Banks, who is a networking wizard. She is just brilliant, your biggest fan. And, um, she just sent around an email. I was actually living in London at the time, and she, I had never met her, but she encouraged me to you know, submit a portfolio, and they liked it, so that's how I got involved. It was to analyze the Gap's finances, merchandising, um, spectrums, and their marketing campaigns, and then I decided that what they were probably looking for was you know, creativity and you know, that's my strength. So I d developed a branding um, campaign for them, establishing a new logo, new store sign, and um, innovative marketing techniques. I think my confidence was initially um, what caught their eye. I walked in, tried to make them laugh, made strong eye contact, and I was just really excited. Like, I had so much fun doing the proposal and I think that really came out in my presentation. It was just amazing standing up there, and I felt really proud, and it just, you know, really solidified all of my efforts and validated it. So it was unbelievable.